Welcome to my channel, Anno Santaj. Now today I will share novel Silas Marna, written by George Eliot. George Eliot's real name was Mary Ann Avon. She was born in United Kingdom. She was born in 1819 and was died in 1880. She married to John Walter Cross. Her famous novel is Silas Marna. It is the story of a simple man who was robbed by dreams and wishes. So let's start the summary. Silas Marner was a weaver who lived in Lantern Yard. He had a fast friend, William Dane. Sarah was his fiancée. Silas Marner went regularly in church for prayer. Besides this, he learned an art to use herbs for specific disease. Deacon of church was on deathbed and people were appointed to pay their duty on their turn. One night Silas was asked to do duty and that night Deacon died. Silas Marner was called in bureau. He was asked that his knife was found near the dead. A bag of church money was also missing. Silas Marner asked that he did not know that how his knife was found near the dead and where the money was gone. Even he was ready to be searched he himself and his dwellings too. When search was made, empty bag of money was found in his chamber. He was demanded to confess his sin to neglecting dead body and stealing of money. Silas said he did not commit any crime, any single crime, which he was charged. Silas Marner asked that, that it was William Dan who took his knife, but church did not believe, so they cancelled his church membership and charged him for blasphemy. Marner silently went his cottage. He had one faith now that only Sarah will give her shoulder to him in the hour of pain and disappointment. Next day, a deacon came and brought Sarah's message that she will not marry Silas now. Silas Marner took it silently. After one month, Sarah married to William Dane. Now Silas Marner took all leads of the conspiracy which was woven by the William Dan and Sarah. Next day, people heard Silas Marner left Lantern Yard forever. From Lantern Yard, he came to Revlo and lived in a lonely place. He started weaving. Here was no church of kind where he has to pay arm or charity. He had golden guineas but had no much use of it. He cured people with slave oats and in return people paid guineas, crowns and half crowns. There were two rich families in Revlo. One was Ka's family and second was Uzgud. But only Ka's was Squire. Squire lived in Red House. He had two sons, Godfrey, who was older than Dunstan. Mrs. Cass has died long ago. Godfrey was engaged with Nancy Lameter, who belonged with Uzgot. Godfrey secretly has married to a low caste woman named Molly Farron. She had a baby girl. Nobody knew it except Dunstan who blackmailed Godfrey for it and took money by Godfrey. He always demanded more and more and more money. At last, Godfrey told that he had no money now. Destin took his horse named Wildfire for sale, but unfortunately, Wildfire was died. On the way, Destin was a drunken man and he was involved in gambling. He was coming back when he saw Silas Marner's cottage. He went in the cottage to ask for money on loan. Nobody was there. Suddenly, he discovered a hole where Mr. Marner was hiding all the money. 
he took the money and went away when silas marner came back and knew about robbery he cried a lot because he lost all his golden crowns half crowns which he was collecting from 15 years only joy of his life has lost he has lost 270 pounds 12 and 6 pence or his wealth for uh, has gone for few days he was in shock but with passage of time he recovered and started working again dolly wentrop was a kind lady she had a son aaron she came to silas cottage and brought cakes for him she advised him to go to church for prayer he will be at peace of having a, stra- a strong connection with god mrs winthrop thought that he is non believer she was mistaken in fact marner's belief was robbed that's why he was scared of going for service godfrey as i told you has a very strong wish to marry nancy lemeter and proposed her she gave her positive response molly who was uh, once pretty enough now because of opium she lost all her beauty she wanted godfrey to reveal their marriage to old squire but it was not possible now because how it was possible how it was easy for godfrey to tell her his father that he married to a woman who used opium and now is mother of a baby girl silas marner was all alone with grief and sorrow sometimes he opened door maybe some miracle will happen and he will find his gold one day it was winter season snow fall was at peak molly took her baby and traveled towards revlo so she can surprise godfrey and old squire cars near silas marner's cottage she was frozen of cold and died little girl saw the light and went into cottage there she laid near fire when silas marner saw the gold shining he was happy he thought that he found all his gold back when he went close to the fire baby's hair was shining like gold she caught his hand and went out saying mummy 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 silas found mother died because of cold so he found a treasure not in the form of gold but in form of a child godfrey felt relief that he can spend a happy li- married life uh, with nancy lemeter because uh, molly was no more and his secret was not possible to re- reveal master marner uh, took the baby girl and named her ep and uh, looked after as her real daughter although godfrey was her biological father but she was looked after by mr marner as he was his her real father time passed godfrey was married to nancy if he was with silas marner who looked after her a lot after 15 years when ep was 18 years old and aaron was 24 years old he proposed ep ep was agreed with this offer godfrey had no child from nancy after some time godfrey found dead body of denston not dead body but only skeleton with seals gold handle whip of godfrey and the watch above all the golden coins of silas marner which he stole and was running from the village and was 
thrown in a stone pit and was died there. Godfrey told whole matter to Nancy and also revealed that Ippy was his uh, real daughter and once he married to Molly Farron. Nancy and uh, Godfrey went to Marner to claim their child, but Epi refused to go with them. With them. Epi married with Aaron and lived a happy life. Marner was also with her and uh, thought he was a blessed man. And really he was a blessed man because Epi was like he, her, his real child. And she loved him a lot, although Mr. Marner suffered a lot, but the joy, the happiness which Epi gave to him, that was beyond the imagination. So it is a happy ending. It, it, it is the story of a, an unlucky man who has lost love, friendship, faith, belief, Everything was robbed by him. Even he was deprived of his money. But at the end of the story, we see that he is a happy man while other characters of the novel, uh, in one way or in other way, they are sad, they are deprived people. While Marner, we get him a blessed man. So it is a happy ending and it is really a very, a very strong scripted uh, novel. It attracts uh, and it uh, uh, tells us the true story of a, a father and a daughter, two human beings. So here ends the story. Take care of yourself and till my next video. Ciao, ciao.